What's going on guys? Long time no see. I know it's been a while, probably a month since I posted. Uh, basically, uh, motors uh, being worked on a horsepower, I mean, MA performance. Uh, it's almost done, so probably about two more weeks. It should be on the way back to Horsepower Logic so we can install it. I still need to order a head gasket, uh, Tome head gasket. I still need to order some seals. Uh, mainly the uh, crank seal and then uh, what else the rear main seal and they need to order some fluids also the Xetti twin disc HD clutch throw up bearing and uh, some gaskets for um, one for the thermostat and then one for the exhaust manifold so I still got some things to order but that's like the kind of cheap stuff so I've uh, been working a lot of overtime uh, road over time getting that time and a half to help pay for all this stuff and I'm also going on vacation tomorrow I'm going to police week and then uh, in DC uh, and then on the 20th to the 23rd I'm going to Nashville never been to Nashville so, so basically I'm broke that's the easy way to explain it but I stopped by horsepower logic and I grabbed my old motor from the shop it's the stroker motor that is was in my car you know that I obviously just pulled right here so i brought it over to tec uh to talk about the sleeves and they basically said they would fix it i just got to get new pistons but i took it to another machine shop and that machine shop said it cannot be fixed because they shave too much metal off and the compression is going to be too high when they deck it and it's a weird kind of sleeve and all this stuff so i'm just going to part it out i mean the, the crank in there, the main crank's worth, you know, it's a, it's a thousand, well, brand new, it's like 1500 So I could probably sell it for, you know, uh, 800 bucks, hopefully. Uh, it has the tough rods in there, the turbo tough rods, which are pretty, pretty good uh, from, uh, you can get them on MA Performance, really good, the main lead. So I'm just going to go ahead and take apart the short block. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a few bolts. Uh, you know, you got the crank bolts. You got the caps, you got the cover, crank cover, and then uh, some other uh, bolts in there, and then that's about it. So let's just go ahead and take this thing apart. But before we do it, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like before I take it apart and show you the clearance with the with the sleeves. You can barely see it. You're gonna need a measuring thing, but if you just rub your finger over it, you can just tell it's just not level, which is kind of fucking annoying. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you up, uh, this uh, short block. As you guys can see, something got in here. A little piece of metal came in through the intake side and uh, kind of hit the pistons a little bit, not a lot. Like, see right here. Not bad. The car wasn't smoking. The compression wasn't was perfect. So it's just not recommended to reuse these pistons. Um, when you have the motor out, just spend the 500 bucks and get new pistons, but they're definitely, you can use them, but I don't know if anyone would. Um, right here, you can feel, if you can, it's hard to show on camera if you can try to focus it, but there's a gap. So, anyway, yeah, there's a little gap here. But, yeah, you can feel it. Um, the walls are pretty good. I mean, honestly, the cylinder walls, some, some scratching, but I don't know. 
I want to sell this thing just as a whole and somebody just wants to buy it and uh, get new pistons for it, but I don't know if anyone's going to do that. So other than that, there it is. Uh, I got this OEM crank uh, off my old motor. Um, it's fucking mint. Just a little rust right there, but that can be scraped off. But this thing only had um, 6,000 miles on it. And then I have over here, I got a refrigerator, by the way. Um, these are pretty mint, just a little dirty. I just got to scrape that off, but 8,000 miles on these. Obviously, I could just scrape off the rust. I cleaned them and, you know, let them dry, and obviously the rust dried on it, but look, see, it comes right off. Bullshit. But um, I'm going to be selling these, be selling the crank, um, and if I take apart the short block, I'll be selling, obviously, the block, the bare block by itself, unless somebody wants to fucking buy it. That'd be great. I mean, I don't know how much I would sell it for. Probably, like... I don't know, three grand, I guess. Three thousand dollars for everything in there. So but whatever. So let's go ahead and take apart this block and uh we'll see what's inside. So don't make fun of me. I don't have any 12 point sockets. I don't know what, where they all went. I don't think I took them from outside my car. So I've been using this 5 8 12 point wrench and hitting it with a hammer to loosen this. So uh, yeah, this is not the way to do it, but this is a way. So uh, yeah, so I really want to get this off and I don't feel like going to the auto parts store. So see, it comes off, see, it's loose. I got it, it's just gonna take a little bit. All right, boys and girls, well, we're at a crossroads here. Um, my uh, MacGyver tools have only made it so far. I was able to get all the crank caps off. Um, the only thing I'm not able to get is piston. Got to get this. It's a 12 point, uh, 12 millimeter. And my wrench obviously doesn't fit in there because you have these caps so I'm about to go next door hopefully my neighbor has a 12 point um realize that this is upgraded it's all ARP stuff so I'm wondering if MA performance when they build that 2.2 liter stroker they upgrade the OEM hardware to the ARP I don't know if they do I'm gonna give them a call because this is pretty legit this is the ARP 2000s But let's go ahead and get a 12 point socket. All right, not bad. 16 bucks, 12 point. Take it. You know, honestly, I went there to get one damn socket and I'm like you know what one socket was seven bucks and then if I got the metric and American set it was going to be 35 bucks but I can get this for 36 bucks and they fit everything and it comes with a damn fucking socket wrench ratchet I'm ready let's do it all right Got the bare block, that looks good. As you can see, there's a gap. Let's see if... I think it's supposed to be like that, honestly. That's where the sleeve ends, but... Some damage there, nothing too bad. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not a machinist. 
I know nothing about this. I'm just looking at stuff that looks like it's not supposed to be there. <laughs> so, but uh, it's the crank, fucking mint. It's just a little dirty. Just gotta clean it. Got the OEM one over there, so I'll be parting this out. Pistons, I'm gonna clean them up. And then uh, these are CP pistons, 87 millimeter. Uh, I'm gonna clean them up and see if they're usable. If they are, then I'm gonna sell them. If they're not, I'm just gonna hang them up somewhere. Got the caps all right here. So let's see uh, how good this looks once I clean it. I'm also gonna call MA Performance now to see if they replace the OEM ones with the ARPs. So uh, the TEC modified, we got rid of the oil squirters because you can't use the oil squirters on the mainly crank the stroker motor, by the way. So let's go ahead and call MA Performance and see what they say. Okay, so MA Performance uh, just said that since I got the stage two, uh, 2.2 liter stroker, this is dirty. Let's clean that off. Oh, 2.2 liter stroker, it comes with ARP uh, studs, bolts, and all that stuff, so that's good. So I don't have to send them these. Um, took everything apart, everything looks great. I'm gonna clean off the pistons, uh, make sure the pistons uh, are reusable. Um, a lot of people don't like reusing pistons that have um, dents from a foreign object in it, but it's not that bad. It's not cracked or anything like that, but I mean, if somebody needs pistons for cheap with the same size, and might as well sell them, make some money back, because I'm, I'm broke. So if you guys feel like um, hooking me up, <laughs> go ahead and uh, DM me on Instagram, Joey underscore or not, or message me here, see if you guys are interested in any of these parts. I got the OEM crank. I got an OE, I got a um, OEM uh, short block, uh, gutted out. Uh, I have the CP pistons, 87 millimeter. I have the mainly, uh, I think it's 80, 87 millimeter mainly crank. I'm not sure, I gotta check on that. I put it on Facebook, uh, the Facebook marketplace for sale. I have the picture of the right one there. It's the Turbo Tough one. And then I have the Turbo Tough rods as well. So the rods are perfectly fine. So if you want to buy those, that'd be sick. But if you want to buy any of the crank caps or anything like that, I have it all. And I might, might as well just sell the fucking ARP studs and bolts. So shoot me a DM if you guys are willing to uh, buy that or need it or you want to buy it and resell it. So right now I'm just going to clean up all these parts and then um, show you what it looks like after it's cleaned. Damn, boy. Look how minty fresh this thing is. Ooh. That's from them balancing the crank, so it's not damaged. Look at this thing. Mint, for sale. That's good there, look at that. All right, now it's time to clean the pistons. All right, the pistons are cleaned, honestly. They look pretty, they actually look really good. You know, you got one little gash right here. Not too bad, you know, no big deal. Another little, little gash, not too bad. This one that didn't even get touched. And this one's the one that got fucked, but I mean. My compression was still good. My car wasn't smoking. So, I mean, I would say it reusable. And then turbo tough rods, mainly, really good, really good condition. So you're gonna put new bearings on it if you buy them, but yeah. So let me know if you want to buy them. All right. Well, if you guys like this video, push that like, comment, and subscribe button. I will be uh, be busy for the next few days. So see you guys later.